your brain narrates after the fact that you chose that thing, but you didn't actually choose anything. So here's what, here's essentially what it's sort of a blend of Nietzsche and like modern psychology would say is that when you go to make a decision, hypothetically, I'm going to use, let's say the choice to either become a salesman mm -hmm. or to become a full content creator and pursue that path. There are conflicting drives, competing drives within your body that are dueling it out before you ever make the conscious choice to decide which path to take. Okay. So you have the drive to be creatively expressive, to have your own autonomy, to whatever the, the, the drives are for content creation, and then you have the drive for security, the drive for competence as a salesman, the drive against that would also be like the drive to be embarrassed, the drive to not want to be rejected, all of these things. These drives are all competing, and then what happens is one or many of them win, and then a conclusion arises from your psyche, it comes out of your unconscious, and then you pluck that and say, I chose that. But what actually happened is your your underlying drives just had a battle, a couple of them won, and they presented you with a choice. And then your brain narrates after the fact that you chose that thing, but you didn't actually choose anything. Why should I do anything? Okay, but so you're saying determinism isn't... Determinism is simply the fact that you don't have free will, I think essentially is the basis of this argument, is that you don't make choices, your underlying drives battle it out, and whichever one wins is the decision you end up making.